In teaching historical events, one of the most important skills that students must learn is to arrange events in chronological order. Not only will this help them remember the events they are learning, but it will also build up their understanding of cause and effect and their sequential vocabulary. How does chronological order connect with teaching history? Chronological order can help students learn to tell a story and summarize events. It also helps them understand the order in which events occur, as well as cause and effects. It allows them to take a step back and really look at the big picture of the events analyzed, what is most important. It can help students to recognize patterns, similarities, and differences across historical events. Lastly, it encourages students to recognize how historical events, eras, and topics overlap over time. Teaching vocabulary in context. We want students to go beyond first, second, then, and then when retelling historical events. Therefore, teaching them appropriate sequence words will be important. We should teach them beginnings, middle, and endings, such as initially, at first, to start with, first of all, firstly, to begin with, secondly, later, then, afterwards, at this point, meanwhile, next, after that, as soon as, subsequently, and later on, finally, eventually, in time, in the end, ultimately, lastly. Scaffolding and differentiation. We should be ready to show and tell, model, think out loud, encourage a small group of students to demonstrate how it's done, make connections to prior learning about sequence of events in other grades or subject areas, allow students to practice within small groups or with a partner, Provide a vocabulary word bank or sentence frames and starters. Use visual aids when possible, illustrations, pictures, photographs, or even pictures they can manipulate to put in order. Pause, ask, review to check for understanding, and remember to use wait time and think time when asking students to do any of these. For example, we have the origin and foundation of Islam lesson in this unit. In learning about world religions, it may be important for students to organize events in chronological order. For students to describe the historical developments with specific references to the Islamic faith, they must understand the rise of Islam and the role of the Prophet Muhammad. They can read about the origins of Islam on page 175 of their workbooks. After reading and organizing in chronological order, reflect. What does this text add to your understanding of Islam? Students can use graphic organizers or a sequence thinking map, a flow map, to help them visually arrange the information they have read in chronological order. Organizing student thinking. Students should be able to use their graphic organizers and or thinking maps to rewrite the information they have read and learned in chronological order. Encourage students to use dates when referring to specific events and organizing their thinking. Ask students to identify the beginning, middle, and end as they read through their work. Retellings and small group discussions. Students may work in partnerships and or small groups to share and compare their sequence of events. Do you all have a beginning, middle, and end? Did you include dates of events? Are the events in order from beginning to end? Have you used different sequence words to organize the events? Can you understand how one event leads into the next? Does this briefly summarize the important information you have learned? Helping students understand and identify the sequence of events is not only an important reading comprehension skill, but also an essential step to understanding historical events. Providing students with the ability to read, make their thinking visible through the use of graphic organizers and thinking maps, discuss and compare their work with others, and finally share and reflect on their learning will deeply enhance their comprehension of history.